for for those of the for those of you who don't know, uh, new tier three sub emote. Hey, what's up, trader? <laughs> That is that is my sellout emote. Okay, so is there a is there a bounty camp at my mission? Because that would be good. Okay, Acid, uh, I've said this, I think, to you a million times. I'm PG. Chat does not need to be Rap God, by the way. All right, Zaretta's here. She's filthy. Oh, good God. Okay, I take it back. That's, that's even filthier than I could have expected. Just this one guy? Poor dude. Poor dude. Hey, what's up, El Papa? <laughs> yes! How dare you? That's like mocking the Lord! Who needs banning from our Christian stream? Uh, I think everybody... But Serpent, I think he's uh, I think he's been okay, but we can ban him because he's just being mean to me this morning, all right? He threatened to unsub. <laughs> ban me, daddy. Oh, okay, Blair's fine too. Oh no, the banner has been banned. Okay. I shouldn't have jumped down here because now I can't get back up. Really? Come on, parkour. 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 Infinity is not a number, it's a concept. Fades into the void. Are they listening to ukulele music? Uh, it's a steel guitar? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. you come from? Ma'am, would you please die? Thank you. Who's left? Um, okay.
Here's what this game's about. In the very first game, Rage 1, came out in 2011, okay? You uh, wake up in an arc. Basically, the entire Earth has been hit by a meteor. 300 years later, you wake up in an arc. There's five other people in it. They're all dead. You're alive. Essentially, the arcs are meant to repopulate the Earth. Think of Titan AE, okay? Um, the people who are in the arc have in their bloodstream this thing called nanotrites that essentially makes them superhuman. Um, in the first game, you wake up. You don't know what's going on. Uh, it turns out there's this uh, dictatorship called the Authority. Uh, they're basically just... They're a dictatorship. You, the game plot, it's, it's not that important, okay? They're jerks, so you gotta kill them. There's also just roaming the wasteland of Earth are these bandit groups. They're also turds. And then there's your pockets of civilization trying to rebuild the Earth, but they don't want to be taken down by the Authority. So your character joins the Resistance, and at the end of the game, you work your way into the Authority headquarters... You essentially realize that the Authority is working with mutants, um, and you release all of the arcs. Every arc around the world, the locations of them, and you, uh, you essentially awaken them. Now, this game takes place 30 years after this game. Apparently, there's been a thing called the Authority War that took place in the middle, in between the games, where all the survivors from the arcs fought the Authority and won, and began to rebuild the Earth. You are a second-generation ARC survivor uh, called a Ranger, and your people at your military base has all been, been wiped out because the Authority has come back with a vengeance. Apparently, they now know how to splice their bodies with mutants, and they have these big hybrid mutants, and it's a bad deal. Um, so in this game... We don't really know. I mean, we're still going to try to take out the authority. That's the end game. But uh, as me, a ranger, I'm just uh, right now just kind of running around killing bandits and uh, enjoying the wasteland. So the story is not uh, it's not super complicated. It's post-apocalyptic, trying to take down the dictatorship. That's what's happening. Um, right now, specifically, I'm doing a mission for... Th there's, there's three characters that... Uh, were around during the beginning of the game. Two of them are actually in the first game, and now they're in their 70s and 80s. They're really old. And then one of them is the daughter of the character you interacted with in the first game. And uh, they are the remaining remnants of the original resistance that took on the authority. And they had a plan at some point called Project Dagger, which was meant to kill the Authority once and for all, but because apparently they already won against the Authority, some type of falling out happened, and they scrapped Project Dagger. And now that the Authority's back, it's my job to go work with these three people and be like, hey, Project Dagger, let's do that thing. So um, I've already worked with one of the guys. This mission I'm currently doing is for another one of the guys, and then I have a mission that I have to do for the girl, and uh, we have all that stuff. Um, there is no McDonald's, I'm sorry to say. Uh, I don't believe there's any fast food of any kind, which is very sad. But uh, this game is way better than Rage 1 in almost every aspect. Um, and by almost every aspect, I mean in every aspect. There's, <laughs> this game is so far superior to Rage 1. It's, it's almost not even a Rage game. This, I think Menace yesterday called it a reboot. That's basically what it is. The setting's the same. Some of the characters are the same. The, the factions are the same, but for the most part, everything else about this game is different. The vehicle combat's way better. The gunplay is better. Your character has abilities um, that makes them into, like, some type of superhuman god. You feel overpowered the entire game. Rage 1 had none of that. It was a very generic, average shooter. But for 2011, it might have been great. But uh, th this game is actually really good. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying it. People, people have been comparing it to Doom style of shooting. It's more fast-paced and uh, uh, more over the Doctor, top and violent. And the space center. It's, but it's in it's an in open ruins, world. Like you said, overrun by thugs. It should pose no problem to you. And as for Eden, well, it was built to withstand anything. Let us get you proper access. Press palm to hand scan in the reception desk. I hear mutants. There's that lap guitar again. Hey, Vaxxus, thank you for the host, man. How was your stream this morning, my dude?
I'm also spending an incredible amount of time uh, looting the game, so. Looting is great. And occasionally there's creepy baby dolls, and I'm not a big fan of that. There's no need for the creepy baby dolls. It was bad? Or are you saying I'm bad? Oh my god. Max says, I started streaming early today, alright? And you started streaming at like... 5 a.m. my time. You think I'm awake? Please. You know, just for that, I'm sending you a raid, okay? I'll remember this. I'll remember this. Well, look at that. Excellent. Now, allow me to give you That's awesome, Vaxis. Access. Hey, Doc, better hurry up. Road goons caught the scent. Wait and hold. They just zip line in here. That man just tried to throw a grenade and hit it with a baseball bat. I almost have it. Just give me a few more minutes. A tricky system, this even for me. I can't see nothing. If only I had some type of ability to let me see people through walls. Smoke. Awkward. That lady probably thinks I'm scared of her. There we go. I just want my food. Oh, he made me president. That's fantastic. President. Huh. I like the sound of that. Okay, Vax, I'll see you when you get back. Yes. Better to take no chances. Now you have full access, president. <laughs> the EcoPod mission control is on the third floor. That is actually hilarious, chat. It made me president. Is that it? Okay. So we're here because these little pods, these Eden pods, I believe they're the things that house the arcs in the first place. And one of them is still in orbit. And that means it's untouched and unscathed and in perfect condition. And the scientist we're working with needs it uh, for computing power to do something or other computing. Whatever. Yeah. So we're here to bring it down from orbit. One of my favorite video game tropes, by the way. Going into a room that required presidential access, and then there's goons inside. How'd they get in here, Vince? You don't kick me, I kick you. The lighting and the graphics in this game are actually incredibly good. Look at 
Listen, lady. No one makes me bleed my own blood. Nobody. What movie is that from? What do you mean? I just made that quote up. Absolutely a, a movie that I, uh, I, it's not a movie, it uh, came right from my brain. My fear of curiosity, may, I fear my curiosity may be the death of me. My latest prize appeared to be the brain of Titan Zygote, suspended in a jar of electrified salt water. The collection of this item has angered a swarm of goon squad bandits who have chased me into this very complex. I discarded as I am unable to carry it. And Pigeon has abandoned me, leaving me to my fate. As I left it to his, to its fate, a small loudspeaker beaten to the lid screamed a final request to me. Kill me! It begged. With any luck, it will remain hidden almost amidst the trash, and I could retrieve it once I have found a resuitable placement for Pigeon. Okay. Hey, what's up, Pro Xbox Craft? Really? I can't believe Dodgeball ripped me off, Acid. That's freaking rude. You think I could sue Ben Stiller? You think I got a lawsuit there? Well, that was satisfying. Pro Xbox, I'll click that link in a second, man. So all these people got put in the arcs. Acid would work at a place like this, by the way. She would save the Earth. I mean, I live on Earth, so I'd try to protect it. If only everyone had that attitude. from a game called Ravenholm. It's, it looks like it's some type of sandbox like war simulator. So I have a basic understanding from 1995. Look, dude, graphics are hard, okay? God, these environments are so cool. It, like, it doesn't, like, I don't know. I feel like, uh, like, I, I think it's awesome that I could literally jump from here back down to the start of the game. Like, I, I just think it's really cool that this is, this is an enclosed space. And, and you know all that trope about how do the bandits get in here? Well, now we know. They could have just climbed it. Turns out it's not a trope after all. Unauthorized personnel. Access denied. What do you mean unauthorized personnel? I'm the freaking president. Oh. Talking about the goons. Access denied. Access denied. 
Yeah. Well, and the thing is, is that it doesn't, it doesn't make you explore the open world. Like the open world has a lot of fun events. They don't, they don't seem necessary. Like, I want to do stuff in this world because the combat is so fun. How do you get around without your motorcycle? I know. It, it's so refreshing to not have to fuel my car. Unauthorized personnel are no longer present. Threat has been nullified. Mr. President, welcome to Eden EcoPod Mission Control. Uh, I gave it a I gave it a 5.5. Just because, so, like some of the stuff was so good, the graphics, the music, the voice acting was well above average. Made it, Doc. Excellent. Now, look for the central computer. You will initiate the recall procedure for Eco-15, still in orbit. Thank you, Zerata. That's very nice. <laughs> Fast approaching a year ago. Two years ago! Recall sequence approved. Beginning Ecopod recall. Thank you, Mr. President. May you bring about a new Eden. The What's happening? The has entered the atmosphere. Onboard temperature readings indicate thermal shielding is uniform. Look at that! Well, do you? Wow, that's cool. It's so this sound. Is what... The eco pod made it. No, and so does the authority. Hurry inside and activate it. I will handle the rest. Elevator's still running. So far, so good. Hey, you maybe maybe you were in a good mood and he had to push his luck, you know? Better work. This is super cool. I love I love the juxtaposition of like post apocalypse and super future. Big supercomputer will soon be dancing to Kvasir's tune. Talk about up. my game. Everything seems to be in working order. I mean, that is a reason. Fantastic. The dagger project will now. I am getting a reading from outside the ecopod. You have authority battle mutants homing in on your location. I'll take care of them. Only thing you can do, pro, is rub it, all right? Okay, how do I get down? Elevator? Here we go. Hey, what's up, Nofi? Oh, that a big boy. Oh, that big boy. It's like the doc said, authority mutants. Shouldn't be a problem.
Oh god, oh god, I have no health infusions. Help me, Jesus. I've got to craft. Give me a second while I craft. <clears throat> the menus are very slow, by the way. Um, health infusion. Hold to craft. Hold to craft. Hold to craft. Hold to craft. Look, sir, I need you to calm down with the boom booms. Oh God! I've actually never fight one of fought one of these before, so I'm kind of trying to figure out how to damage him. At least he has a health bar now. There we go. Okay. I don't think he has those serpent, but I'll look. He dead. Oof. Oh, sir. Sir. Doc, the authority mutants are no longer a threat. You're good to go. Ah, so swiftly, too. You surely are Prowley's successor. Right. So now you're gonna get to finishing up your part of Dagger? Yes, indeed. With this setup, it will be a breeze. Doesn't look like it, Serpent. I'm sorry to let you down. I will have ample time to prepare other feats of science which will be beneficial to you. Like? Ah, different projects of a scientific nature, all of which will help you get stronger and tougher, and ultimately be able to, how do you say, kick the authorities, butt. Sounds good to me. Okay, so we did it. Um, you have unlocked Kavir's project. Kavir's Kavir's. Okay. Um, uh, I actually want these, so now I, uh... Meet with Cogitator Kavir to start. Carry up to six. Hold the purchase. Yes, I want those. Picks up data pad tracking. Yes. Save, exactly. Actually, this game auto saves. It's not like Rage 1. This game's actually nice and saves it. Storage container tracking. Yes. These all make my world exploring easier. Um, immediately generate a bit of, bit of health with overdrive activation. Ah, eh, don't care too much about that one. Embedded Feltri. Tracker picks up the signal from Embedded Feltri. Embedded Feltri rocks release more Feltri when harvested. Nearby loose Feltri automatically gravitates towards your position. Yeah, we'll do that one. Uh, be able to fall from higher heights? Mm, don't know about that. Uh, we'll do it. Save you forehead. You know forehead ain't gonna work in that because you spelled forehead wrong. But whatever. Delay the detonation of grenades. The tracker picks up the signal from spy drones, able to hunt on their position using a signal strength indicator on the compass. I don't know what spy drones do. Do I want to unlock this? Carry up to eight infusions. Enemy drones. Arc chest tracking. Strong feltrite magnet. Pick up Feltride cells during overdrive to increase its save. Feltride cores, overdrive multiplayer. Okay. I think we'll keep that one. And I I have I don't have this one yet. Um But now I'm like Does that mean now I can save vehicles? 
Can I actually save vehicles now? Might have to do this. Do it so we'll earn you project points used to purchase projects. I think it's going to be in here. Active convoys. Wing stick lock on. Chemist, engineer. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Let's just keep going. <clears throat> Okay, so El Papa made it, so now it is, uh, save you forehead before you cry all the way back to the four castle in the middle of the four town. Okay. Zaretta, you are also beautiful and loved, by the way. What you eating, Vaxus? I actually, I actually am, I actually love, uh, this game. game is actually so much fun. We didn't complete this location, did we? Yeah, we did not. We need two more storage containers and one. There's one data pad. Commands! We got this new ability that should highlight uh, supply bins. So let's see if it actually works. Can I Skyrim Hello, up these My mountains? My research is close to completion, but I am lacking one vital component. Please come see me in my lab. On my way, Doc. Double cross. There it goes. There it goes. Heart shaped wallet. Hey, Tyler Jobin, thank you so much for the raid, man. Appreciate that. Welcome in, everybody, from Tyler's chat. What were you streaming today, man? And how was it? Let's go, Pikachu. I figured it was either that or Overwatch. You still, sh are you still hunting for the shinies, brother? Yas, queen. God, that's such a great emote. Okay, I see the tracker. I see it. It's getting, it's getting closer. But it doesn't show... It doesn't show height. So, like, we know it's above us, but that's all we know. Interesting. Who doesn't hunt for shinies? People with no patience. That's about it. Do I seriously not auto heal? I thought I auto healed after a while of being in not combat. I could barely do another playthrough of Pokemon. I'm looking forward to Sword and Shield just because I haven't played Pokemon in so long. Welcome in, everybody, from Tyler Street. Thank you again for the uh, for the raid. Welcome. I'm Z Swigs. We're playing Rage 2, a first-person shooter that is actually a ton of fun. So welcome in, Grocery Daddy. Welcome in, uh, Da da have all. Let's go with. Uh, I'm just gonna call you Dave. Uh, hi, welcome. Turn based is so long and boring. It definitely is an acquired taste. I tend to agree with you, but I know there's people out there that love it. So 
I can't. I need to ask Zaretta if they're making it cold or hot. I would imagine it's hot. Okay. Let's go around over here. Okay, it says there's a supply crate, like, right... There it is. There it is. Look at that. Look at that. We did it. See, in this game, you don't, hide for sh you don't hunt, hunt for shinies. You hunt for supply crates. looted this area. Okay, now I remember just kind of sprinting through here. So it makes sense that there would be something of interest. Over here, it says we're close, but we're not quite there. What is they're just they're just weightlifting in here? Got kettlebell stuff. The world seems very lived in. I, I it's it's honestly really well done. Okay. So we were very close, like over here. But I don't see anything. No data pads. I don't think Zaretta's gonna punch them. She works at a church. I feel like punching people would be frowned upon. Okay, well, it was full there for a second, right? Yeah, right here. Look at that. Okay, now there's a data pad somewhere. Have we even been back in here? Just sad. Just sad. There you go. So, was it too cold, Zaretta? Is that what's happening? Uh. Uh. What was that? What if the person who's messing with it now goes and turns it down to, to 50 to teach you a lesson? Yeah, it's, it's summer, right? Should, shouldn't the air conditioner be on? Okay. Oh, she. Oh, Zaretta has someone in mind. One thing I know, don't ever mess with a person's shower. It's a time to reflect, a time to relax, and let your stress melt away. Don't work if someone starts doing the dishes after you started. Oh my god. You started your day off on the wrong shower foot. What was it set at, Zaretta? So we can all judge you. Here it is, data pad. Reply to urgent message. You don't have to do anything, Ivan. I'll take it from here. In fact, it's best you forget this whole thing and never mention it again to anyone. That it's way above your pay grade. Benjamin Saylor, CTO, Eden Corp. Ben, there's something very wrong with the system. Someone has opened a large data tunnel, bypassing all firewalls right into the main network server. The data is wired to an external address through the northern array to some unknown bunker. This is a major security breach. What should I do? Interesting. I wonder if that is, uh, if that's Kavas here. 72? Okay, that's not that bad. I mean, I want to, I want to be on, uh, 
Uh, I want to be on your side, Zaretta, but 72 is not that bad. I personally have mine set at 75, and Chris complains it's too hot all the time. Like, constantly. Okay, so we, we beat this. We have now 100% at all these places. Um, so the question is, is do we want to go do... I feel like we got to go make a name for ourselves, so let's just fast travel here. And we're going to do the ladies' quest, which means we got to do some races and some reality TV show stuff. You don't wear a sweater in the summer, Acid. Zar, Zar's one of those people that's always cold. Zar, have you ever thought about getting fat? Yeah, pro Xbox crap, but I know where you live. It's a little different than Oklahoma in the summer. But you shouldn't have to. It's skinny shaming. Lucem, I'm entering the Mutant Bash TV arena. Keep an eye on your TV screen, because it's time to crack some muty skulls. I know you can, and I know you will. But be careful. Those things are nastier than you think. <sighs> oh, this is disturbing. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mes amis, look here. What a dashing rogue the city has sent our way this evening. You, yes, you, stranger. Have you come to join us? Say it is so. Say you've wandered here from off the dark city streets and into this uh, boudoir of pleasure to join our little game. Because you have a hunger in your eyes. Tell me. Just, do tell me. Is it a hunger... For the promises of the... She's using this man as a food. I present you with? Hmm? Um, no. A thirst, perhaps, for the reddest. Oh, yes, of wines. <laughs> or maybe the insatiable hunger of the true connoisseur. The last to kill. <laughs> you have it. The promise of greatness. Allow us to sate your hunger for the kill, handsome. And sign here on the line. Why do we have to sign? There's no lawyers. And if there is, I would like to file a sexual harassment lawsuit. And now. Sweet young thing, your journey to stardom shall come. I would say hi to Calm, but I don't even know if Kill. he can hear me. Kill for Desdemonia. <laughs> okay. Okay. Talk? No. Let's. No. No. How the heck do I get out of here? Can I go this way? Okay, we'll go this way. Hey, Keish, how are you doing? Good to see you. Holly, hi, oh, here's a data pad. Oh, dear. I am just so très, très désolé. Our fiercest, wildest, and weirdest efforts have hey. been lacking as of late. Blood without fire is like champagne without bubbles. It will not stand. We need pyrotechnics. You. Go talk to those beautifully savage yeah, goons see at the this station. Name. And be nice. The goons love our show. Flitwick McDimbledick. <laughs> oh my god. You never answered my question. Um, I don't know what question you asked me. I'm sorry. That was my grandfather's name? I thought so. Come on, 
Oh, in the Discord? Oh, I haven't been on Discord all morning, bro. Step on up, killer. What you looking for? Something crazy. I'm sorry. See, Dizzy Deluxe can get you anything. Just bring me those. Shame. I had to. I did errands this morning, and then I had to. I'm now I'm streaming. What kind of stuff you got? Okay, so I only buy this stuff with tokens. I got it. I got it. What did you ask me? Oh, this is the exit. No, I want to go and bash. I don't I don't even know who that is, so no. Hey buddy. Okay. Oh. Oh, oh my. Oh, it's another guy with a raccoon tail in his butt. Okay. Okay. Oh, he's a character in this game. Oh, I gotcha. Intermutant Bash TV Arena, survive the onslaught, kill as fast and entertaining as possible to earn a higher score. Uh, a higher score means more MBTV tokens to spend at the MTV gift shop to charge yourself. You can use the optional MTV challenge board to select different MTV challenges. Yeah, Vaxus was here yesterday. Uh, that's not. This is not the weirdest place we've been, believe me. Normal. Looking for a challenge. Try with only pistols and wing sticks. Uh, normal. Okay. And now, mes amis, for our next contender. Such grace, such flair. All right. No, like, I'm literally on fire, actually. Okay. Do we win? Oh, shit. Look I love it, Acid. Hello, sir. Okay. I hope they have like health infusions and stuff in here because I have none and I really would like some. Shotgun shells, salt rifle rounds. I need I need health. I guess I mean I guess I could craft some. There's one health infusion. Okay, I'll take that. I mean I'm getting plenty of overdrive, so I just need to keep activating that, but it's fine. Ballroom blitz, ballroom blitz. Don't let the rushers get near, dear. Oh, no. The show must go on. Oh, Lord. Careful. We need to hold three acts from you. More rushers coming from behind the scenes. What a job now. Oh, shit! 
Okay, what did El Papa share? I'm very curious as to what product he's, ta he's talking about here. Interesting. <laughs> Skinny people. I just have blubber, okay? I almost died. I, I'm, I'm going to put in here real quick, guys, just because, uh, you know, I started early, so some of you have it, but I'm still at zero, and uh, I could easily die here. If you have not yet guessed in the Wiggies contest, go guess. You're guessing today how many times I'm going to die. Um, I'm looking at the time right now, so uh, go guess now, and uh, good luck to you. You'll win a $5 gift card spent on Z-Swig's merch, a big winner designation in the Discord to flex on all the members, and... Uh, you get 300 swig bucks of worthless stream currency. I want to shoot this padlock. I want to shoot it. So if you haven't guessed, go guess. It's, um, this uh, this could be the this could be a time I die. Okay, I hear this amazing music. That's what I'm trying to do, El Papa. What's up, demon? What's the spinner like? I wish there were two of them. Oh yeah, did you? Whatever happened with your Blizzard account? Did it ever get unbanned? Oh good, okay, awesome. So it was so it was a mod. That sucks, man. That's good though. I'm glad that uh you got on band, man. So you're excited about WoW Classic, huh? Okay, one more health infusion. I actually did really good on that last one. Well, that's just mean. Give me that classic. Boom, boom. I need to learn how to aim. Oh, the 
tension is unbearable. Will you beat this leg spewing minigun on your god hungry feet? Um, there's a big boy? Was easy. Oh, that man dead. Okay. Fifteen hundred tokens. Oh goodness! Let me pop the cork and shake the bottle. Walker, you are a winner. Do come in and accept your prize. Let me get all these tokens over here first. Man has dice on his arm. <laughs> wow. No loot? <laughs> well, what also the workload I imagine is different acid. Was that acid? Was yes, there, there was. Woo! You weren't kidding. You really kicked the shit out of those muties. Good job. That kind of quality slaughtering can make you a star. I still got to get behind the wheel at Chaz Car Derby, though. I know it's a hassle, but hey, Wellspring thanks you for jumping through all these hoops. No skin off my back. As long as you come through on your end, Mayor. You won't regret this. Okay, I already regret it a little bit, you know. Yeah, there's no closed doors here. I think that's part of the issue, Acid, is that these are very open doors. Oh, look, Big Bad Basher is back. I was just watching reruns and wondered when you would come rolling back into my shop. Well, let's spend some of those bash tokens, yeah? I mean... I feel like I should buy all of these. And cool. Honor, champ. Pass to the max. Yeah, thank God. Get me out of here. Okay, now we gotta go do Shit. races. We gotta go race. All right. Um, here we go. Sense activating. Vroom, vroom, big fast car. What's that thing up there? Hey, don't shoot that buffalo. It's not hurting you. Excuse me, buffalo. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video entertaining. There's a new one posted every day, so be sure to subscribe, leave a comment, say hello, I would love to meet you, or better yet, stop by twitch.tv slash zswigs, where I am live every weekday playing fun games with this great, positive community. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.